Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we get started today, I am gonna announce the winner to our last giveaway and the winner for our surprise, not polished, uh, set is Yolanda Anthony. Congratulations to you, Yolanda. Send me a DM on Instagram so I can send you um, your present out. And for today's- Question. Question, <laughs> question of the day is, what kind of theme nails do you guys like to do? Like, I love uh, spring nails. I like, I like fall and Christmas. Oh, because <laughs> like you and know Christmas. me, I love my three dot snowman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you leave us a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe to our channel. That's how you enter to our next giveaway. And as for me, for today's nails, I'll be doing some beachy theme nails with some seashells and some bubbles. It'll be super cute and I think this is the last fling before the summer nails. I don't know. But anyways, check it out guys. A lot of guys, um, a lot of you guys ask me how do I glue on the fake tips to the silicone hand, and this is really simple. I'm just using my regular tips, and I just slide all the way in, just like that. Make sure you leave some hanging off the edge because if it's too close to the silicone, when I glue on the nail tip, it might get stuck to the silicone, and when I pull it off, it'll take off a chunk of the silicone. As you can see in my second finger, there was a missing chunk right there. And today, I'm gonna use number M32 from Not Polished. You see, this color has a little bit of sparkle to it and it's super pretty. And it'll be perfect if you wanna use it with like a white ombre also. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna put on a starfish. So while the acrylic is still wet, I am just gonna pick up my starfish and apply it directly on top of this wet acrylic right here. And, um, I'm still looking for my starfish, so. <laughs> All right, guys. So here you go. The acrylic is still wet, so I am using a little pressure and press it into the nail just like that. And today I'm gonna use be using the summer collection. This is number M103 right here. I'll pick up a small bead. As you can see, it's pretty thin, right? It's super runny. Well, not super runny, but it's on the runnier side. And then I'll clean my brush, pick up the second bead of the acrylic, and then just apply it directly on a little bit on top of the blue so the two colors kind of ble uh, bleed into each other. There you go. And this doesn't have to be perfect, okay, guys? Because we just want just a little bit like a wave to it almost. And then I'm just gonna apply another one right there. And this purple, this purple is also from the summer collection, but I don't remember exactly the number, so I'll I'll put it in the link for you guys to see. And I'm just gonna use some glitter at the end like that, and um, just kind of apply it anywhere actually, anywhere you want. So I'm just gonna apply some right there. And as you can see, I am keeping it keeping the um, acrylic, the product on the thinner side also because. Um, we're going to be encapsulating this in a crystal clear powder so we don't want it too thick and plus the starfish is actually a little bit thicker so just make sure you keep everything super thin. And for the bubble looks so I'm going to put on a white gel right now and then use an empty bottle of water and empty and squirt just a little bit of hand soap in there put in a little bit of water shake it up and have a lot of bubbles and when the gel is still wet i am going to squeeze the bubbles directly on top of the wet gel you see that and then now i am going to cure it in the light and this is how it should look like after you cure the bubbles on the wet gel and now that's done we're going to encapsulate it with the crystal clear powder and again make sure you are picking up a wetter bead the beads actually a little bit wetter when you're working with crystal clear powder so it does not not have um all this tiny little air bubbles in it if it's too dry you're gonna see a lot of air bubbles in your crystal clear powder so i am just gonna press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail and as you can see the side of the starfish is gonna be sticking out just a little bit but because it is kind of big but it's okay because when this is dry you will when you file everything will be in place and perfectly shaped okay 
Alright guys, make sure you use your brush to press the um, product into the shape of the nails. You don't want it to be super bulky because you're going to be spending a lot of time um, reshaping the nails later. So make sure to just keep everything nice and neat. Make sure it's super clean, okay? And now I'm going to apply the second bead of acrylic close to the cuticles now. There you go. Clean, um, clean my brush, dip it in a little bit of mon monomer, and then flush it into the cuticles just like that. And make sure when you guys are doing applying acrylic, always hold the client's finger at a downward angle because you want gravity to take over and pull the products in the same direction that you're going, okay? There you go. Press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail, just like that. And a lot of you guys ask me what brush do I use. I use the Not Polish um, brush number 14. Okay, guys, number 14 from Not Polish. And this second nail, I am going to be picking up this two beads at the same time, the pink and the purple, both at the same time. And again, no technique to this. Just kind of make sure the product is wetter and just let them bleed into each other. And now that's good, I'm just going to apply on um, my glitter at the tip again. And this look is super, super cute and simple, guys. Alright, and then I'm just going to apply my glitter right there at the end. And now that's done, I am going to pick up a small bead of clear acrylic. Just a thin bead of acrylic, like a tiny little piece of acrylic right there, clear. So when I, so I can stick on my little gold gems you see that so just apply a thin layer of clear acrylic on and then just apply on your gem just like that All right, now that is on. I am gonna use a white gel again. So this is just a white gel polish brush. Paint it on wherever you want the bubbles to be. And then again, use that same bottle and just squeeze the bubbles on top of the wet gel again and cure it for 30 seconds or, 30, uh, or 20 seconds is fine too. You see how I just squeeze the bubbles from the bottle and just apply it directly on the wet gel. And now the bubbles on there, you stick the whole hand into the light. And this is how it looks like after you cure it. Pretty cool, right? And I'm just gonna go in and add some glitter to it. Alright now that looks good enough so I'm gonna go in and encapsulate the whole nail with crystal clear powder again okay and again do you guys see how I held the finger at a downward angle put on my product let it run just a tad clean my brush dip it in a little bit monomer and now I'm gonna mold the product into the nail first because it is still kind of runny and now that is set a little bit more then I press and pull it down towards the tip of the nail there you go press and pull press and pull all the way down to the tip of the nail And press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail just like that all right now I'm gonna go in the second bead to um, I'm gonna add apply a second bead of the clear curly closer to the cuticles and then now clean my brush, dip it in a little bit monomer and flush the product into the cuticles. And now just drag the rest of the product down to the, um, probably the middle of the nail, not all the way down to the end, just like that. And I'm just gonna shape it into the nail, like just like that. 
all right guys now this is dry i'm gonna go in with the five in one cross bit from not polish again and i am just gonna pre-shape the nail first and there you go just pre-shape it just a little bit and pre-shape on these just taper in the edges like that And same goes for this nails. We're gonna taper in the edges of the nails with the um, with the um, bit. All right, now that is good. We're gonna go in and smooth out the top of the nail, okay guys? Just go in and smooth out the top of the nails, just like that. And now that it's good, I'm gonna go in and shape the nails up with the not polished hand file. And it's definitely my favorite hand file. You guys have to try it out. And I think you guys will love it. And this is done and buff, so we're gonna go in with the top coat. And this is the glossy top coat from not polished also. And again, remember that if it's a clear nail, we always apply the top coat on the bottom of the nails also also to make it super see-through all right here another top coat and then we're just gonna apply some on the bottom of the nails as well just like that and make sure you clean off the edges of the nails before you cure it okay guys because what happened is when you apply on your gel by the time you get to the fifth finger the gel likes to run on both on both sides of the nail so it can um, ruin the shape of the nails and make it less sharp so make sure you clean off the edges just lightly clean off the edges on both sides and then cure it under the light and look how cool this looks And then now we're just going to cure it under the light for 30 seconds and this is the finished product. Look how super shiny this top coat is and you see how clear this clear powder is. So this clear powder is number um, 01 from Not Polish and shiny top coat is also available on Not Polish. And what do you guys think about that video? If you like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Can you tell them how to win the next giveaway? Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot. To win the next giveaway, like the video, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, and leave me a comment of your favorite theme nails. And that's how you enter to win the giveaway. <laughs> because we're just gonna randomly select a winner. So good luck to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.